Hello, I have a Prius 2013 that had problem with the braking lights. One solution is to change the whole assembly that costs around $200, $300. And the other one is to fix it. Um, it applies for models from 2005 to 2015. So let's try to fix it. Here is the Prius 2013. Let me show you how the lights work. You have the channeling or emergency light blinking. And also with the low and high beam, you have these two LED stream working as well. They are also used for the brake light intensifying the brightness, so let me show how it works. Let's put the brake to work. And you will see that those lights are brighter. My problem was that they were not working and I had to take out the whole assembly. Now, if they blinking uh, for emergency and turning lights are not working they are quite simple to replace they have uh, two sockets here you rotate it half a turn and replace the bulb but if you have a problem with the leds you have to take out the whole assembly and in order to do that, there are a few videos in YouTube that explain step by step. You remove this uh, screw with a 10 millimeter uh, socket wrench. This one there, this one here, uh, this screw, take out this plastic and this one, and just push the cover to have access to the taillight assembly. Uh, you have to take out a nut from here and a nut from there, and then you push it out. But be careful because on the bottom of the assembly, you have this piece that is underneath the bumper. So be careful when you remove the whole assembly. Once you have the taillight assembly out, remove all the screws and take it apart. I counted 11 screws. And once you took everything apart, you will have access to the LEDs for the brake and the low and high beam positioning. It's a very basic circuit. First, check that all the wiring is correct, nothing is open. Then, on the circuit, check that there is no overheated element, resistor. Usually, it's the only way that the resistor are failing. But since we have a very low power here, I don't think that they will have any, any problem. But what I found is that the four um, diodes, rectifier diodes, one of them was open. So with the tester, I checked that the diodes are correct. In one direction, they are open. In the other, they have uh, 0.6 ohms. Uh, I found that this one here was open in both directions. Uh, hopefully, it will be all the problem. Something that I didn't mention is that the reverse light is also LED. So if you have problem, you have to come here to uh, find the, the, the reason. Uh, the diodes that I'm going to replace are one NSM Nancy 4007. 
you, you buy 100 of them for $4 in Amazon. So now what we are going to do is to replace the diode and check that the unit comes back to work. Before assembling the whole unit, I want to test it and see if it works after I change the diode. So let's see, I made a fast connection down there and pressing the brakes, it works. So we fix it. Now we have to put everything together and we save around $200. After you put all the pieces together and also the wires and the connector, the last thing that you have to do is to glue this uh, big plastic cover that when we disassemble, it broke the seal. You can use a glue gun, plastic glue gun, or any other glue that you can put around. If you don't have a multimeter to check for the diodes, you still can fix it. Make a visual inspection of all the connectors and wires, check for the resistor that they are not overheated, and finally, just change the four diodes. They are inexpensive and not difficult to replace. Uh, most of the time, it will be all the problem. I hope that this video was helpful and I'm sorry this is my first one. Uh, I'm sorry for all the mistakes. Have a good day.